Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the easy herringbone dishcloth, which is this dishcloth that you see here worked in a self-stripe uh, stripping yarn. This uh, is a very, very easy dishcloth. It's worked using two stitches, your herringbone half double crochet stitch, as well as your reverse single crochet stitches around the edge. So it creates a uh, nice, fairly sturdy washcloth that is great uh, to use in a multiple ways. So that's the dishcloth right there. For this project, you're going to need a copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, and there you'll find it for free. As well, you're going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and your favorite worsted or medium weight crochet cotton, okay? You're only going to need about 40 yards of that cotton. So grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. So thank you so much for joining me here. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated uh, weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So for our easy herringbone dishcloth pattern today, what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a foundation chain of 21 stitches. So start by making your slip knot and chain 21. Once you have your starting chain of 21 chains, you're going to start working our herringbone stitches. You're going to work your first stitch in the second chain from hook. So you're going to count in. This is your first chain. Your second chain right here is right here. And you're going to work your first herringbone stitch. Now to work this stitch, it's a half double crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook into that second chain. You're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. Then you're going to take that loop that you just drew up and you're also going to loop it under the first loop on your hook, like so. So you'll be left with two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops remaining. So that's your half double crochet, uh, your herringbone half double crochet stitch. I'll show you that to you again. You're going to yarn over and in the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop, and then draw that same loop under the second loop on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the two loops. So you're going to work your herringbone half double crochet stitches all the way across to your final chain. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop and draw that loop through the second loop on your hook with two loops remaining on your hook yarn over and pull through repeat that all the way across I'm just working my final herringbone half double crochet stitch in my foundation chain and you'll have something that looks like this. For row two, it's very simple. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And for now, for row two through to row 16 or for the length of your dishcloth, so I worked mine uh, for 16 rows, you're going to simply work those herringbone stitches all the way across so back and forth so yarn over insert your hook in that first stitch your chain one does not count as a stitch so in your first stitch insert your hook drop a loop draw that loop through the next loop on your hook there yarn over and draw through two loops 
So work your herringbone stitches all the way across when you come to the end. You're going to chain one and turn your work and then work your herringbone stitches across again. So continue to do that until you have a total of 16 rows or until your washcloth has reached your desired length. At that time, you will fasten off your work and weave in any ends. Okay, welcome back. So now you will have worked uh, 16 rows of herring, ha uh, herringbone half double crochet stitches. You will have fastened off your work. You'll have something that looks like this and you, are um, you have woven in your ends. You're now ready to add your edging to your washcloth. Now for the edging on your washcloth, we are going to be working reverse single crochet stitches. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to join your yarn. You could have left your yarn attached if you wanted to um, so that you did not have to reattach your yarn. It's up to you how you would like to proceed. Um, but if you have uh, uh, fastened off and woven in that end, you're going to take your yarn and you're actually going to join in the top left hand corner. There's no real right, uh, right or wrong side to the washcloth so you don't have to worry about that. You're just going to join in your top left hand corner if you're right handed. Okay, uh, which is opposite from what you would normally do because this reverse single crochet stitch is actually going to be worked backward. So you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch that top stitch and then just uh, chain one. We are then going to work a reverse single crochet stitch. A reverse single crochet stitch is worked backward. It's worked as it's called in reverse. So instead of if you're right-handed instead of working right to left you're going to be working left to right. To do that, you're going to bring your hook back and into the next stitch, you see it there, you're going to insert your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through like you would for a single crochet stitch. I'm doing this as I'm watching in the camera so it's a little bit <laughs> more challenging. Here, I'll do it that way. There, so yarn over and pull up your loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through your two loops to complete your stitch. So that's your first reverse single crochet stitch. You're then going to go to the next stitch, working again left to right. So in your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, all the way across your work. And what you're going to end up with is an edging that looks like it's been twisted or uh, it looks like it's like a, like a rope. Um, it creates uh, a little bit of a tougher tougher edge or a tougher stitch which I find is great in my washcloth so it just holds up a little bit better and gives it some fun texture and a fun finish as well. So you're going to reverse single crochet all the way across. You can see that I'm getting this uh, corded edge here. Just like so. When you come to your corner stitches, as I am right now, you are going to work two of these reverse single crochet stitches into that corner stitch because it's going to kind of bring you around to the opposite side. Oh, that one was a little bit loose there. So two reverse single crochet stitches. You'll be now ready to work along this rough edge and you're going to evenly space out 16 reverse single crochet stitches down the side. So there's no uh, marked place to put your hook. 
So you can just put your hook in where you feel uh, is appropriate and you're going to want to work 16. You're welcome to work uh, more or less. Just remember how many you worked on that side because when you come to the opposite side you're going to want to work the same number of stitches. And that's pretty much all there is to this washcloth. You're going to continue working those reverse single crochet stitches down your rough edge. When you come to your corner, work two, work single reverse single crochet across the bottom, and then two in the corner, and then 16 up your opposite side, uh, one in the corner, and then join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to your herringbone washcloth. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye!